Hello, Sara. Hello. <laughs> uh, you're here dancing with Carolyn Carson. You met her in Venice quite uh, during the uh, on first Biennale at the Academia della Danza. So can you tell us uh, how, has, how have you met her? How has she chosen you? And uh, how has your relationship evolved uh, up to now? Hmm. But, well, uh, at the very first time I met her in Paris before that she was in the Biennale of Venice and she came, she was in, in Paris and uh, I decided to, to go there to, for some months with my best friend to just to see outside of the Italy world what is the dance outside and she organized a workshop but it didn't happen because she was sick and also I was sick. So I had to go back to Italy and she canceled the workshop. And after like one month that I was back, she, there was this audition for the Academy Isola Danza. And actually I didn't want to go because I said, okay, I wanna stay home. Uh, the school uh, where I studied, uh, Dance Gallery of Perugia with Valentina Romino, Romito e Rita Petrone, that they also come from Nicolai's. And so actually they pushed me, that you met her, you have to go do the audition. I said, oh, I, wanna, oh, I don't know that she, and so they, they sent my CV. And so I, I could do the audition and then I was, chosen for the academy and so this is the beginning when I started to, the first year of 99 was studying only the, uh, I mean academy and then yes. from for two the, years, two years. The academy was for four years mm -hmm. but um, from the beginning of the second year from 2000 uh, she opened also, she created also a, a company. So there was the academy, it's La Danza of the Biennale and the company. And I was chosen also for the chosen. company, and so since 2000. Then you followed her in uh, Paris, back yeah. to Paris. Yeah. So. After all this, I mean, these four years, it was so um, something it opened inside uh, of me, and I decided, yeah, I want to follow this uh, intuition. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It was really a, a rencontre, uh, I don't know, mm -hmm. a meeting, <laughs> a meeting, but yeah. Sound with <laughs> Yeah, also sometimes we, uh, also Karen, she remembers. I remember you were always to my, this side of me. Yeah. And also now when she teaches, when I assisting her, or when, I don't know, for, I have to be to this side of her, always. No, if not, she's, uh, something is wrong. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, you started uh, dancing with her, also uh, collaborating as an assistant to her performance? Uh, I'm an uh, interpreter and after a moment uh, she needed a person physically more active to follow in her uh, when, especially when she was uh, creating piece for companies that uh, I mean not her company so outside and so the dancer they needed uh, like uh, someone in between her to go in fast on the process and uh, yeah, and it's also for, uh, because usually when you go to create for another company, you don't have months and months and months, so a short time. And mm -hmm. so I could work with her uh, maybe very early in the morning or very late in the evening to create a very material and then to give to the dancer or to have the dancer to, to, to that they really can go uh, more faster and deep in the, the work. Mm -hmm. And in all these years, what have kept you? Nowadays, still at her side. Hmm. Uh, it's one of the first things that she taught me that is always like the first time, the first moment, the first gesture. So it's never, never repeating. I never get bored. It's like a, a new white page, and so it's like a, the, every time is new, and so I enjoy enjoying a lot. And also because she is also. She's so generous. She gives a lot, and uh, I don't know. I feel that I want to give more back. Uh, so <laughs> you might be one of her hair. But she, I think she, 
Uh, she has a lot also in her, I mean, a lot of people, they, they really... Um, uh, because she has this power that when you meet her and then you have a, a little bit of time with her studying on to do projects, that she's like she goes inside of you and she sees uh, this light and tuck, she can turn on. And so then you, you, she helps to find yourself. So she doesn't do copies. So. Uh, okay. And what about uh, you're also here? You will perform a, a solo mm -hmm. mandala. Mm -hmm. uh, how has this piece, uh, how was it born? Uh, mm -hmm. it's, uh, but this was funny really in the really beginning because uh, actually I was replacing a dancer in another piece that I wasn't dancing and, um, and I was dancing a solo, a bird solo kind of and uh, she said, wow, you, you were fantastic, wow, fantastic and so I had this, this intuition, I said, Karen, and now it's 10 years that I work with you and maybe let's do really only a solo that I'm alone on stage and she said, oh, but you have thousands of solos in all of my pieces but I think you're right. Okay, so and uh, so she found uh, Par hasard <laughs> in a music is Michael Gordon. Uh, we were in a car and uh, one person of the office knew put this music on the you know, CD player and she said, oh, "Wow, fantastic!" So, so this is the music and then uh, she uh, we were reading some books uh, like the the Mandala of Being, uh, Richard Moss and. And she was all fascinating um, on the crop circles. So the lights, it's all the creation of lights is about that. Mm -hmm. And um, it's. Um, we were also, uh, maybe because of her age, uh, thinking all the, the, the chemin of the route, I don't know, <laughs> my French is coming, huh? that you do in your life. And often we think that it's a line, we go like uh, forwards. But um, uh, when maybe at the end of, of this moment, of this, uh, uh, because we don't know what's after, so uh, that we, we need to come back to ourselves and uh, so to take it off of the, of the things that we have around, also clothes, and uh, because we don't need when we die or when we finish this moment of the, this trip uh, we are all the same and we are like open to every, everything uh, so that's why it's about circling and uh, instead of thinking only to go straight in a line actually it's when we we think we are arriving at the end or we go back to the center <laughs> thank you very much thank you